Okay, welcome back. In this video, we're going to update our exterior and interior walls so that they match the spec requirements of the project. In our previous video, I mentioned that we have these guidelines. And if you take a look at number six, exterior walls will contain two by six sheathed studs with 0.5 inch foam board insulation, R19. So let's go ahead and convert that into something we'll be able to use in our project. What I'd like you to do in Revit is head over to your level one floor plan. So I'm going to double click on level one. And once you're on your level one floor plan, I want you to click on one of your exterior walls. Once you've done so in your properties over here, you should notice the basic wall type. If not, it might say something else. That's also perfectly fine. We're more interested in this button over here, the edit type. Click on that and you're going to get a new properties option. If yours doesn't look like mine, that's probably because your preview button hasn't been clicked yet. So it usually looks like this when you first start it, but when you click the preview button, it opens up a cross section of the wall. And right now this generic eight inch wall is just a gray mesh. There really isn't anything to it. So let's go ahead and make or add some layers to that. Now, I don't want to accidentally damage this generic eight inch wall. So it's usually a good idea to duplicate anything you want to change. So up here, we have this button that says duplicate. Click on that. And we're gonna rename this to Habitat Exterior Wall. And then I'm gonna press okay. So anything you do to this wall will now no longer impact the generic wall type. Okay. Where it says structure, go to edit, give it a second to load up. But once it does so, you're going to have what is between here, which is the wall. Over here, this is the exterior side of the house. And this is the interior side of the house. So anything between these two is what's the wall and what's in the wall. So we now we currently have just this structure, just the generic eight inch structure here. Well, let's actually add some meaning to this. I want you to click on by category. There's three dots that appear. Click on the three dots and give it a second to load up. Once again, your menu might look something like this, but it's a material list that's gonna load up. And if it does, click on these two arrows here to open up some additional options. Since we're doing the studs first, I want you to type in the word wood. Give it a second to load up and hopefully you have a softwood lumber type material. This is what we're gonna be using for our studs. And I want you to go ahead and double click on that. And right away, you notice that the cross section has changed. Now our wall is the same color as the lumber or the softwood, but it's still currently eight inches. So we're gonna actually adjust that. We did say it was two by six studs, but even a two by six stud isn't exactly two by six. So we're gonna actually say 5.5 inches. So where your quote marks are, I want you to change the eight to a 5.5 and then just click away. You'll notice your profile changes a little bit. That's okay. These, this is what's gonna represent our studs. Next, let's add in that insulation. So I want you to go to insert. And when you clicked insert, it should have created a second structure here. Currently it has zero inches, but according to our specs, we said the ins insulation was a half inch. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna change this to uh, 0.5. And you'll notice right away, it adds a little bit of insulation. And where it says by category, I'm gonna click there. And then I'm gonna click dot, dot, dot. Okay, so for insulation, I want you to type in insul, like that, insulation. You'll have a number of different options. And I want you to go over to the rigid insulation, this one over here, click on it once. And by default, insulation is usually represented by a pink color, but currently the color is a gray color. So I want you to click where it says color and I want you to set it to a pink. So I'll just click on that one and press okay. So now it has a, an appearance of pink. I also want you to go to the appearance tab and where the wall pane is and where it says color, you can also click there and change it to that same pink and press okay. So now it also has an exterior finish view of pink should we want that. And I'm gonna press apply 
and OK. So taking a look at our materials now, we have that insulation in there. Uh, but it's kind of facing the exterior side. And I want it to be facing the interior. So I'm actually just going to click on the two. And I'm going to go to down. And if I click this, it actually puts it down. So now it's down here. And it's facing the interior of the wall. OK, let's add in a few more things. We're going to add in our vapor barrier. So go to Insert. And depending on where it adds it, we'll just have to move it from there. But it's also 0 inches. Let's go ahead and just add in. Uh, this is just our vapor barrier, so maybe a quarter of an inch would be fine. So 0.25, really thin layer. Click on the by category, dot, 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 and type in vapor. OK, so we got a vapor retarder here. We're just going to use that, and I'm going to press OK. So that's been added, and that's going to come after our insulation. So I'm going to select the three, and I'm going to put it that down, like there. OK. What else do we need? We need our drywall. So I'm going to add another layer. This is going to be a half inch. So 0.5. Whoops. And then by category dot dot dot. And let me type in drywall. OK, we got some gypsum wallboard, which will be fine. So I'm going to select that, press OK. And I'm going to move this over to the even past the core boundary. So this is like what we are visibly actually seeing. So if that's the interior wall and we're inside the house, we are actually visibly seeing this gypsum wallboard. And if we want, we can color it later. OK, so that's one side of the house. Now we also got to get those exterior sides. So on the exterior sides, we're also going to have another additional vapor barrier. So I'm going to click on the one here, go to Insert. And I'm going to add in another vapor barrier, probably quarter inch or so. So 0.25. Um, click dot, dot, dot here. Type in vapor. Vapor retarder. Press OK. And then I'm going to select that and just move it down back to the core structure. Uh, because you don't want water to enter your walls. If water enters your walls, it could, it could really damage them. OK. Um, let's add in some additional insulation. So insert another half inch or so. Click here, dot, dot, dot. And we're just going to use the same insulation as last time. Or, uh, or actually, let's use this exterior insulation. Uh, that should be fine. So I'm going to click it. I'm going to change it to pink, as well as the appearance, although that seems fine. So I've added an exterior insulation layer. And then lastly, we need our finish. So a lot of houses, when designing the outside or the exterior, we oftentimes use vinyl or PVC just because it's a cheaper way of finishing a house. So let's add one of those layers. So I'm going to insert. Uh, I might have accidentally added one, so let me delete one. Uh, and this is just also going to be maybe an inch or so. Uh, so I'm just going to set it. Actually, let's set it to a couple inches. So. I'll just set it as two inches a lot. I'm going to set it as an inch. OK, by category, dot, dot, dot. And I'm going to type in vinyl. OK, and there we go. We got PVC here, or polyvinyl chloride rigid. I'm going to select that, go to the dot, dot, dot here. I'm just going to use a white for this. So I'm going to go yep, and change the colors over to a white. And then press Apply and OK. And this one should be outside the core. OK, so what do we got? This is the exterior layers of our house. And I'm going to try to expand that. So if you needed to pause the video and capture any of these things, you can. Additionally, if you wanted to, you can adjust the function names, although this actually doesn't do anything. But if you wanted to say, like, oh, this is the finish layer, so that's finish 2, and this is finish 1, and these here are the you know, the other layers, the substrates, things like that, you're more than welcome to, although it doesn't impact the project as all, at all. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Everything looks great here. So I'm going to press OK again. And now when I select this wall, you're going to notice that it says basic wall, habitat, exterior wall. So that's looking pretty good. 
However, when I click on this wall, it's still a basic wall type. So what I can do is just click on this and look for my habitat exterior wall and then click on that and it will update the wall to my habitat wall. I'm also going to do the same for these two so I can click and hold down control to select multiple walls and then go here and also convert them to my habitat exterior wall. Now that our walls have been updated, let's go ahead and make sure they're in the correct place. So right now they look like nothing has actually happened to them, but something has. If you kind of just click away from the project or if you click down here, you have different levels of quality or of detail. And by default, the project has it set to coarse, but I want you to go ahead and change it to fine. Nothing probably happened at that point, but I also want you to click on this box down here and I want you to change it to shaded. Now that when you now that you change it to shaded, the studs should be very visible. Maybe not all the layers, but the stud layer should be very visible. And let's go ahead and take a look at this in the 3D view and see just how it looks. So I'm going to click on my 3D view and I'm going to kind of rotate it. And by default it goes back to wireframe, but I'm just going to go back here, change it to fine, go back here and change it to shaded. And when I look at my house, you should notice a couple things. One, we said the outside of the house was white or vinyl, PVC. So the outside of the house should be white. And two, I set the inside or the drywall to gray. And we haven't actually wrapped anything around it so far. So the inside of the house should be gray. Now, if you use different colors, then your project should represent that. However, what do you do if it's kind of on the wrong side? So if the white is on the wrong side or the gray is on the wrong side, the fix is actually rather easy. If I go to the level one floor plan and I select a wall, you're going to notice these two arrows here. And if you click on them, all it does is it flips the, the way the wall is facing. So if by any chance your walls are facing the wrong way, it should be very clear because the arrows are going to be facing inward. And then all you need to do is click on them to flip them out to the other side, like that. OK, so that took a little bit longer than I thought. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up walls in the next video. Peace.